In this brief hands-on video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to downgrade your iOS 11 beta device back to iOS 10 using Apple's recommendations. Check it out. The first step is an easy one. Just make sure you're running the latest version of iTunes on your Mac or PC. Once you've verified that, the next step is to download the IPSW file that corresponds to your iOS device. Now, if you're a registered developer, there's a special link that you go to. And if you're a public beta tester, there's a special link that you go to. Since I'm using a public beta, I click the public beta tester link, I log in, and now you'll see all the download links for the various devices that iOS 11 is compatible with. And since I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus, I'm gonna click the iPhone 7 Plus link, download that firmware, the IPSW file, to your desktop, save it to your desktop. It's a fairly large file, so it may take a while depending on your internet connection speed. So I've downloaded the file. You can see it saved on my desktop in the upper right hand corner. The next step is to make sure that your iOS device is connected to your computer. So I have a lightning to USB cable connected, plugged in, and then you wanna place your device in the recovery mode. Now for the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, this is done by holding down the power button and the down volume button. On older devices, this is done by holding down the power button and the home button. So just keep that in mind. If you're running an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, down volume and power, older devices, home and power. So since I am running the iPhone 7 Plus, I'm gonna hold the down volume button and the power button and continue holding it. Don't let go, just continue holding it. Only let go when I tell you to. All right, so we're just gonna hold down volume and the power, continue holding, continue holding even after you see the Apple logo. And once you see the connect to iTunes logo, you can now release the buttons. And then you should see an iTunes pop-up saying there's a problem with your iOS device. You'll see a restore button there. You wanna hold the option key on your keyboard and click restore if you're running a Mac, hold shift if you're running a PC and click restore. Then point to the firmware file on your desktop that we downloaded in step two, click open, and then click on restore. Okay, so now you're downgrading from the iOS 11 beta to iOS 10.3.3. And I've sped this up a lot. It's gonna take a little longer on your device, but now it's complete on my device because I sped through it so I could show you this in a reasonable amount of time. All right, so here we are, right at the setup screen, the welcome screen, we're ready to go. Go through, set up your device just like normal. And once you get to the part where it wants you to either restore from a backup or set up as a new device, you have a decision to make. Obviously, it was recommended during the iOS 11 install process that you back up your device first. So hopefully you did that, either back up to iCloud or backed up to iTunes while you were still on iOS 10, and that way you can restore your data from that iOS 10 backup. You cannot restore an iOS 11 backup back to iOS 10. So keep that in mind. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you downgrade from the iOS 11 beta back to iOS 10. Do you plan on downgrading? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.